Hey friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're gonna talk about identifying unknown numbers. So our learning goal for today says, I can identify unknown numbers on a number line diagram. So the materials that you'll need for this lesson are your dry erase board, a ruler, and your lesson template. If you have a lesson template, you can cut out the pieces um, to put them together to make a giant meter strip. Um, if you don't have your lesson template, that's okay. I'll have pictures for us throughout the lesson. All right, friends. So here, imagine this meter strip is one long piece instead of cut into two parts. I had to cut it because otherwise it wouldn't fit on, <laughs> on the screen for us. So just imagine that instead of the first one stopping at 50, it keeps going all the way to 100. Okay, so we kind of had to snip it and make it into two parts so we could see it. What are the endpoints of the meter strip? So here we have zero, right? What's the other end point? Remember, it goes on the bottom line for this one. Yeah, 100 centimeters. So zero centimeters and 100 centimeters are our end points. If this shows one meter, how many centimeters are in one meter? Yeah, 100 centimeters, right? That's the total length. Let's change the endpoints. Put your finger on 30 centimeters and on 50 centimeters. So here and here. Let's draw a number line to represent this part of the meter strip. Use your meter strip as a ruler to make hash marks at 30 and 50. Then you use your ruler to draw a line connecting the hash marks. So the hash marks friends are just like a little line up and down. So pause the video and draw your new number line from 30 to 50. If you don't have a meter strip, you can draw a line using a ruler that's 20 centimeters long. So pause the video, draw that, and click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends. So here, let me model this for you. So I zoomed in on our meter strip so it would be easier for us to see during this part of the lesson. So again, here is still 30 and 50. Here's my hash marks for the endpoints, and then I'm going to connect it with a ruler. Okay, so you have, should have a line that looks kind of similar to this. Let's label our hash marks, right? So what are the endpoints of our number line? Where do we just take it from on our meter strip? We got 30 centimeters and 50 centimeters. So here I would label 30 and 50. Our left endpoint is often zero. Where has zero gone? Yeah, well, it's still there, right? So it's just farther back. We're just not showing that part on our number line. So it didn't disappear. We just aren't using that part. So if we were to look back here, zero is still here, okay? We just zoomed in on the part that's 30 centimeters and 50 centimeters. So let's draw a hash mark in the middle that is equal distances from both endpoints. So we're just trying to look and find the middle point on our number line. So it looks like it might be about there. So what number comes right in the middle of 30 and 50? Yeah, it's 40, right? So we can label that on our number line. Draw the hash mark for that middle and label um, the 40 on your number line. So pause the video, label the middle, and add 40. And then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so now I'm going to make a more equal units on my number line by drawing hash marks in the middle between 30 and 40 and then between 40 and 50. So here's in between 30 and 40. I'm gonna label that as A. And here's between 40 and 50. I'm gonna label that as B. So I want you guys to pause the video and add point A and point B to your number line. And then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. 
Otherwise, your number line should look like mine. What are the values of point A and point B, and how do we know? I want you guys to pause the video. I want you to try and figure out what point A and point B would be, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. So as I'm looking here, I think that it's 35 and 45. Because if I look from here to here, there's, this is a distance of 10, right? So from 30 to 40 is 10, and from 40 to 50 is 10. Well, then when I look in between, these are five, right? And if I know that that distance right there, that total from 30 to 40 is 10, well, look, five plus five equals 10. So let's see if the other side is the same way. If we have five and five, oh, we do. And look, five plus five equals 10. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. All right, so look at this number line. Oh, how many units are there? Like how many parts? Yeah, there's four, right? If we know that each equal unit length is 10, can you figure out the other endpoint, E? Yeah, we sure can, right? Because we can count by tens. So I want you guys to pause the video. You're gonna count by units of 10 all the way on each hash mark until you get to E and label um, what E should represent. So pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so what is the value of E? Yeah, it's 140 because I can skip count along. So it would be 100, 110, 120, 130, 140. What's the difference in length between the endpoints? So what's the difference between our endpoint of 100 and 140? Yeah, it's just 40 because we can use subtraction. So 140 minus 100 equals 40. All right, so I want you guys to draw the number line shown below. So pause the video, draw this number line, and click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. If each equal unit length is 10, figure out the starting point. A. So pause the video. I want you to figure out what number would be at A and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so what we need to be doing here is we're counting backwards, right? Because we know the end point on the right. So we have to count backwards and it tells us that the unit length is 10. So we're counting backwards by 10 starting at 95. So we're at 95, 98, I'm sorry, 95, 85, 75, 65, and then we would have 55. So A is represented at 55. What's the difference on this number line? So pause the video. Let's find the difference between our two endpoints and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. So the difference is 40 because we would take 95 and subtract 55, and that would give us 40. So our next problem says find the value of point B on the number line. So here, this time, they're not telling you what the units are. You have to figure out what the units are. And remember, we've been working with units that have either been the length of 5 or 10. So use those to figure out how you can determine what the value of point B is. So pause the video, find the value of point B on the number line, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so as we're looking through here, we can see that the value of B is 75. And the reason why we know that is because we can look to see, are they counting by fives or tens? So I could start at 45 and count by fives to see if I get to 85. So 45, 50, 55, 60, oh, no. So I can't be counting by five or fives. So let's try tens. So we're at 45, 
55, 65, 75, 85. Oh, yep, I got it. So we're counting by tens. So let's go back real quick and count by tens until we get to B. So 45, 55, 65, 75. All right, so find the value of point C on the number line, and then what is the difference between the two endpoints? Okay, so here's your number line. You guys are going to pause the video, find the value for point C, and the difference between the endpoints, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, here we go. All right, so point C is 95. The reason why we can figure this out is we know that we're going by fives as we're counting. Because if we're at 100, if I went by tens, it would be 110, 100, oh, no, I can't. It would be too high. So by fives, I would be 100, 105, 110, 115. So that's how I could check to make sure that we're counting by fives. So now I'm at 100, and I'm going to have to go back five to get to C. So that would be 95. We could subtract to find the difference. So 115, which is our endpoint, and then subtract the other endpoint of 95, and that would give us 20. All right, so now you guys are gonna find the value of point D on the number line. Each hash mark represents the value of 10. And then what is the distance, distance between the endpoints? So here's your number line, pause, find the value of point D and the distance between the two endpoints. And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. So D is 35. We know that it's by tens because it told us that in the problem. So we would count backwards by tens from 65. So it'd be 65, 55, 45, 35. Well, now I need to find that distance with my other end point. So I have to count up to find that this time. So I'm at 65 plus 10 more is 75. So to find the distance between the endpoints, I would subtract them. So 75 minus 35 equals 40. All right, so good job with those, friends. Some of those were tricky. So great job working through them and going over them with me together. So here's a copy of your problem set. If you need it, you can pause it and solve all of them here. Otherwise, let's keep going. All right, so woohoo! You guys did an awesome job identifying unknown numbers in a number line diagram. Okay, so please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends! <laughs>